Welcome. Today, we will be discussing the aspects of submuscular bridge plating for pediatric femur fractures, including patient selection, indications for surgery, as well as surgical technique. The purpose of this video will be to educate the viewer on the injury patterns and patient factors that make submuscular bridge plating advantageous to other treatment options in this age group. Additionally, the viewer will be able to see the surgical technique as it is performed to gain a better understanding of the steps associated with this procedure. Fractures of the femoral shaft are a common pediatric injury, accounting for approximately 1.4% of all pediatric fractures. In a retrospective review by Galano et al., 21.7% of all hospitalized traumatic orthopedic injuries were fractures of the femur, amounting to over 18,000 patients per year. Initial evaluation of a pediatric patient with a femoral shaft fracture necessitates a thorough history and physical exam. High energy mechanisms are often associated with head, chest, or internal injuries and require the assistance of a coordinating trauma team. Pediatric ATLS protocols, including airway monitoring and fluid resuscitation, as well as examination of the cervical spine and pelvis should be implemented. Once stabilized, a thorough exam of the injured extremity should evaluate neurovascular status, skin integrity, and evidence of associated injuries. Plain radiographs, including anterior, posterior, and lateral views of the femur should be obtained to ascertain fracture location and pattern. Lastly, if the patient's age, history, or physical injury pattern suggest non-accidental trauma, physical abuse must be considered as a cause. Management of pediatric femur fractures is dependent on patient age and injury pattern. For younger children, single leg spica cast application is both safe and effective due to the large amount of remodeling potential. In school age children between five and 11 years of age, length stable transverse or short oblique fractures of the diaphysis may be treated with flexible intramedullary nailing as this allows for earlier mobilization. Adolescent children nearing skeletal maturity may undergo rigid intramedullary nailing through a lateral trochanteric entry point with decreased risk of injury to the blood supply to the proximal femur. For length and stable fracture patterns with long spirals or comminution, or those involving the proximal or distal third of the femur, such as subtrochanteric type, flexible nails typically will not provide adequate stability and have been shown to have a higher complication rate with higher rates of loss of fixation. Additionally, larger children weighing more than 45 kilograms in this age range also have higher rates of failure when treated with flexible nails. For these injury patterns, submuscular bridge plating has been shown to be an effective alternative to flexible nails and is an important technique for the pediatric orthopedic surgeon to have in their armamentarium. This technique utilizes an indirect reduction with minimal incisions to provide relative mechanical stability for these patterns, allowing for early mobilization without excessive soft tissue dissection. It avoids potential injury to the femoral head vasculature associated with rigid intramedullary nailing and does not carry the morbidity of external fixation. A second surgery to remove the plate is usually performed at around six months postoperatively once osseous union has been achieved.